nature's cheap. And typically in evolution, things that do not contribute to the survivability of a species don't last. Um, they're essentially selected out by not being traits or characteristics that contribute to continuation. So ancient wisdom, ancient rituals, let's talk about a few. Let's start off with acupuncture. It's been around for a very long time and is one of the few things that has actually undergone a lot of scientific rigor and essentially been able to go through and be validated in things like double blind medical studies to have many, many very, in my opinion, almost mystical levels of impacts on human health. And I say mystical because to my knowledge, it's not exactly well understood how it works in terms of common sort of scientific Western knowledge. Now, this is something that's lasted for a very long time in the culture, and it definitely has benefits. Now let's look at another, which is circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythm is the process that drives your body's sleep wake cycle, and also has a tremendous impact on things like metabolism. So really deeply ingrained in human health. Obviously, one of the biggest threats to this has actually been the advent of electricity and lighting, which has allowed us to artificially alter our circadian rhythm. We've also been able to, at the same time, develop something else, which is essentially climate controlled environments. So between these two, we are affecting our circadian rhythm. We are no longer forced to go to bed at darkness and wake up with first light. Likewise, we are able to effectively push off the effects of changing temperatures through the day, which are also known to impact it. Lastly, let's talk about yoga. Everyone knows those young people obsessed with yoga. And typically they tend to be people who are fairly active, fairly healthy, and often getting a lot done. And you have to wonder if there might be more than just a correlation between those two things. So going to a broader knowledge of medicine, we understand that our body movement is very important. Stretching is good for the longevity of a lot of our body systems, building core muscles, building muscles that help stabilize us. Now, when it comes to exercise, we also have chemicals that are released, serotonin, dopamine, and a slew of other chemicals that drive processes in our brain. And finally, we have physical processes that need movement in our body. Digestion is a great example. Likewise, our lymphatic system, which is responsible for essentially clearing out a lot of, uh, as I understand it, dead cells and uh, processing um, as part of your autoimmune system. So your lymphatic system needs a lot of pumping to work. Um, essentially, it's a hydraulic system and moving your body accomplishes this. So one has to wonder, are all these things deeply ingrained into us because they are truly keys to longer, happier lives? Stay tuned for more and just keep doing better.